Time on the gun. There we go. All right. So the timer is not looped right now. If we activate the button. Wow. <laughs> well, that worked. Hey guys, Zuldrin here and welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Isn't it beautiful? It's a freaking work of art, man. I moved. I took, well, almost everything from the gas station and put it up top in the base and I organized it. I made an extra chest. It's it's so nice, man. Today, I want to try to mess with a sprinkler system for the crops down there, as well as a door. And I think that's what we're going to start. So I, I've been watching a few scrap mechanic videos here and there, and I've learned a little bit of stuff. I've also been streaming quite a bit. Yesterday, I worked on a sprinkler system for quite a while, and I had some people helping me out in chat that have seen videos as well. My buddy John Bain has been tearing up Scrap Mechanic, and he, I think he put together, I don't know if it was his creation or what, but he put together a repeater setup, and it's going to allow me to kind of recreate it and get an automated sprinkler for this place. So, Honestly, what I played around with yesterday was a... Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. I'll, I'll just show you a clip of my live stream yesterday. Oh, there he goes. Ha! It's... It's working. It's working. Holy... It's water! So yeah, pretty ignorant, right? <laughs> pretty ignorant, but it worked. So the thing is, if you take three of these logic gates, and you take a switch and a timer, what happens is you get a loop, uh, an infinite loop, a repeater, so to speak. They don't have any repeaters in the game, so that is what it, that is what it is. It's a, it's a repeater. So if I were to connect a bearing right here and have that same setup, it would just spin around, right? And, and, and wet all my crops. I'm really not sure what the center point is. I would have to measure it out. But right now, what we want to do is kind of make sure that we can actually um, build this repeater. So what I'm going to do is try to set up an array on the ceiling here. And we'll put a timer as well. We need to get all of this out of the way from the middle, though. And that is kind of close to the middle. I'll tell you what. Let's set it up. I mean, we could set it up on the wall, too. But the wall is much more likely to get destroyed than the ceiling. So I think I'd rather do it on the ceiling. All right. Now we got some light. So the timer is pretty straightforward, right? We have the number of ticks that it can go off or whatever so if you set it to 250 mil let's just let's just make it simple let's set it for four seconds so if you hit the timer and activate it with a switch and connect it and just activate it with a switch you hit the switch and it's going to take four seconds before it reaches the end okay if you were to change that to one second and turn it back on you could see that it takes one second to fill up I know it's a little bit hard to see with the um, the pink dot, but there you go. So if we were to take it and change it to, let's just say one tick, and it's almost instant, right? So basically, what we want to do is make this thing auto fire because you can't, you don't want to manually hit the switch every time you want the sprinkler to turn, right? So what we want to do is connect this to uh, these 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 repeat with these logic gates so the logic gates can be configured as and or or x or nand nor or x nor so the yesterday i did nor and 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 it ended up working so i'm gonna try to finagle these in a way that it actually just makes this thing auto fire all right so messing around with the configuration it goes you need two ands and one nor, all right? And you need to connect them like so, and nor and. Then if you take the and and connect it to the timer and you connect the timer back to the other and, it starts going bananas, right? 
So if we connect one of these logic gates to a button and we hit the button, you can turn it on and off. So this will repeat as many times as we want all, you know, basically. So this will trigger, trigger the water pumps, right? This will trigger every time we want the water to squirt. Now, then the thing with the controller is we're going to want this on a rotating deal. So we're going to need to set up a bearing here. And when we set up a bearing, we'll get it to where it's going around. We just need to kind of find the center point now. All right. So this looks like the crop center right here. I took a few of the soil bags and took them away just so that I can refine the design a little bit. And it's basically a five by five plot minus one in the middle. So 24 plots altogether. So I got my bearing. Now I'm going to take this measurement away and we should be able to connect stuff to it. All right. So what we want right here is a water cannon connected to this. Now I've been told a few different things that you don't really need a water tank connected specifically so i'm going to experiment with that a little bit if we were to just take the water cannon which i have if i could find my little elevator which i have right over here and put that down and we took the water cannon and just connected it downward right that way it should be able to spin around here I have a controller that I have not connected yet. So let's just take the controller and connect it. Then we would set this to, um, we would have to set it in intervals probably. If we did 90 or 180 and then 360, let's see what that would do. We could put it on slow and loop and then it's going to just loop, right? I could change that rotation if we want it counterclockwise or clockwise or whatever. It's fine. Okay, so it's looping. So we do want this on a piston, by the way, so it can extend out. But right now, I want to just see if this can connect to a neighboring water tank. And if it can, and this thing has water in it, then I should be able to trigger stuff. Let's put the timer on... The gun? Oh, I didn't I didn't catch it right. Timer on the gun. There we go. All right. So, the timer is not looped right now. If we activate the button. Wow. <laughs> well, that worked. <laughs> so, we need to first of all, we need to slow this down big time. That's really really cool. Let's slow this down to I don't know. 0.25. Let's let's slow it down to one second how about a half a second just like that now it stopped looping for some reason why why did it stop looping slow down slow down every 15 ticks all right, that looks pretty good. <laughs> that looks really good, in fact. Okay, let's turn it off for now. That's a that's a that's a really perfect setup. So it it constantly rotates. It doesn't need to do that, but it's doing it right. So this is this is this is really really neat. We want this. We want a switch on this instead of a button now, so that we can always 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 be getting water. Okay. Now we turn the switch on and it's just going to constantly pump, right? It's going to constantly pump and we can actually make this a little bit bigger as well if we wanted to um, with this extra water tank, like as a as a backup supply or something like that. Because I thought we were going to have to manually feed it, but it doesn't look like we're going to have to. This is actually pretty amazing. So what we'll need to do right now is let's just take the controller and stop it, right? Uh, what we're going to do is just take it off a loop and it should stop. It does not. <laughs> it does not. Okay. Let's, let's take all the controls out here 
and beautiful. All right, so it should stop now. Um, maybe. How about we just disconnect it from the controller for a minute then? <laughs> because it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll configure it in a little bit. So we, what we want, as soon as this thing stops, it'll stop making noise, by the way. So what we want is that we want it to extend out on a piston to make it a little bit um, like wider range. So what we'll need to do is take this out for now and extend all of this with a piston out by one and i think that let's see where's my bearing at my bearings right there okay no problem so we'll take these away add one like this and if we put a piston right here now what's weird about this let's let's do it like this can we rotate this thing no it doesn't look like it we can do it just like this and the piston won't go out until it's hard to explain the piston actually will not go out until there's a block attached to it and yesterday i fooled with this for quite a little while but let's just say for instance that we put our range at three okay so it doesn't go out but as soon as you take something and attach it to it sorry maybe it needs a block so the block we need it to extend out oh and it still needs it still needs a trigger right so if we took the button and attached it to the piston and hit the button you'll see there we go so if we were to take the block away and hit the button nothing happens so if you're playing around with pistons and you want to know why it doesn't extend that's why all right so with this we need to set up a we need to set up the water cannon now so the water cannon we can't fit it just like this, so it needs to come out like by one. And it's gonna be a little tight here, but this should work out. I'm hoping it's still kind of in the center. It does go out a little bit, but it's not gonna be that bad. So what we want is this piston set to, I don't know, let's make it three blocks. And if we were to put in a button on this right now, just to kind of see, and we pressed it three is probably just a little short actually let's go with four yeah four is probably gonna be right I imagine four is gonna be right okay and we can we can easily hook this to a switch or whatever but we're gonna want to set this to a timer as well eventually because if we can time to where it's like every i don't know five seconds and we can get the rotation to where it takes five seconds to water these crops then it will extend and rotate these cop crops around but i am going to need a few more logic gates and another timer set up and i'm not really sure if i have the materials for it so let's see all right i needed some glue and metal and circuit boards but i just noticed i was right next to a cotton biome where my base is so anytime you're looking for cotton, these autumn looking forests, they kind of look like brown leaves, brown trees instead of green trees. You could get cotton in these. They spawn kind of just like uh, the little wheat flowers or the little um, the little yellow flowers. I don't know what you call them, but every once in a while you'll see them around uh, regular fields and stuff that you can pick them. And they only give one cotton node a piece, but it's still really nice to have. I think I need 20 to put together a bed, and I'm going to need one for my base. So I have to So I, I stop respawning at uh, the other base. Let's see how many I have right now. 19. I should just be able to get one more really quickly. There we go. <laughs> and now we'll head back to the base and put together all the logic gates and stuff. All right. Exact same setup as here. And I need to connect the timer to the piston. The piston will extend out into this area. And then we need to make sure this puppy is looping. So we have this switch already connected. Let's go ahead and set it. And it should do this probably about every 10 seconds. So as soon as the timer goes away, it'll go back in. It'll retract. 10 seconds later, it will it'll extend again, and that'll give us the kind of range that we need. So if we were to take this controller now and make sure that the rotation is going, 
Let's connect the controller to the bearing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that <laughs> kind of acted funny. Did that short it out or something? Hopefully it doesn't go too far out. There we go. Maybe just connecting something different, it kind of made it squirt. Okay, so we connect the water cannon again to here. There we go. It's looking like it's going to do just fine here. Let's set the rotation again. If we set it to 360 and just loop, it should be fine. All right, so it's... Did we make it loop? So weirdly enough, something happens where the rotation actually stops when you access the controller. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. So if I access the controller, it just stops. It's strange, right? If I access the controller again, it doesn't start again. But if I change the rotation, then it should just work. There we go. It just starts back again. <laughs> it's got to be a little bug. Anyway, so it took me a little while to figure that out. But now it's actually working. Now we just have to mess around with the timing a little bit. So I'm thinking that the repeat needs to be about every second. If we go one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's about every second. Okay, so we got this repeater down to every... Let's go 750 milliseconds just to see what's going on. And we'll start it up. Oh, because it's all connected to the same thing. Don't tell me that it's going to bug out every single time. All right. I think we got it going now. So it should extend. It makes its full round. Now it extends. And it's going to sprinkle the outside. We probably need it to sprinkle a little bit more. And it stopped again. Dang it, Bob. <laughs> it, keeps, it keeps stalling. It's like it freezes. The technology is not enough. <laughs> But it looks like that works pretty good. I think I needed to fire a little bit faster, though. So let's do... 600 milliseconds. And it looks like it's getting all of the crops except the very outer edge. So we can extend the piston out one more. There we go. And try that. And for some reason it froze again. Probably because I'm messing with it. Let's see if it gets the corners. Doesn't look like it's getting the corners still. One more out. Six. It's definitely wetting them now. Oh, did it hit something? It hit the light, I think. Or did it hit that? <laughs> I don't know if it hit the time bar or the light. I might have to move it. I think it hit, yeah, I think it hit the timer. Dang it, Bob. Okay, and it stopped again. But it's definitely getting the outside done. Definitely get the outside. So let's just switch it back. We're gonna have to move the timer, I think, and the light. <laughs> let's move the light a little bit. <laughs> And we're going to have to set the timer uh, a little bit differently here. We have it down to 10 seconds. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep moving. Okay, let's set this to 10 seconds again. Actually, 10 seconds. There we go. And we'll just set this puppy up again. Perfect. And the timer is going to be going to the piston. And I think we got it now. think we got it now. Oh my gosh. This setup actually took a good little while. But I think it's watering all the crops. These are having problems. It's not quite going out that far. We probably need to increase the frequency just a little bit more. So let's bring this down just to like the 500 milliseconds. And restart the turning again. 
Now it looks like it's going to be able to get to everything. We can actually make this a lot faster and just double everything. But this seems to pretty, be pretty stable and consistent. Now, how fast is this losing water? It's actually staying. It's pumping every time it has the option to do it. So guys, this is literally fully automated right now. Now, the only problem is it's kind of loud, but let's see how loud it is from up top. Extremely loud still. <laughs> it's still extremely loud. Oh, so we would definitely want to turn this bad boy off every once in a while. But man, that is so cool. So to turn it off, by the way, all you'd have to do is hit both of these switches and it turns off completely. Everything is watered and now we can start planning and make sure everything is done. Well, the this is going to move the piston every once in a while, but we can honestly hook a switch to that too and be done with it. But I don't think there's anything to worry about. This is... This is actually a really, really good setup. I'm glad I messed with this so much today. And I'm going to end up planning some stuff, but I think we're going to need to go on another materials raid to beef up uh, this place. Because if any reason we ended up getting raided hard and it starts breaking all of our equipment, I would be so upset. And this metal is not the strongest stuff in the world. So beefing it up and making it just a little bit more fortified would seem pretty good. But we got our door together now. We have our little sprinkling system together now. I am, I'm really, really happy about our base, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Listen, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give us some dap on that like button to show you support. Make sure to check all the links in the channel description for my new channel that I do reaction zone, as well as my Twitch channel that I live stream games on. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, this is Ulgen signing off, and we'll see you next time. Break it down.